Let there be light. Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. It is not good that man should be alone. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. in the garden but I was afraid because I was naked so I hid myself who told you that you were naked have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat the woman whom you gave to be with me she gave me of the tree and I ate what is this you have done The serpent deceived me, 
And I ate. Serpent. Because you've done this, you are more cursed than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you are taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. <laughs>